on the top. Try your best. Try your best. Shoulders. Oh, here, let me get us doing help. Hold on. Hold on, honey. Okay. Ready? Pull it, pull it. Oh, we did it. After we put up the Christmas tree, we're having hot pot at home. It's been a long time since we've had this. Ellen made his special hot pot sauce. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'm pretty sure he has a video on YouTube. I'll link it down below. And then London's gonna have some instant noodles. We got coconut to cool us down. Cilantro, we love our cilantro in our sauce. Bean curd, we got quail, wontons, and fish ball, udon some beef. You guys don't know this, Costco sells sliced beef now. It's sliced hot pot meats. Check it out. Then we got some seafood mushrooms, bok choy, and we have our, I think it's little sheep hot hot pot soup. Boiling away. Yummy! And coconut. And coconut. Do you guys want to take out your lights first? Yeah! Here. Oh, yeah, I gotta wipe. And then mommy wipe it first. Oh. Okay. Friends, how do I take this out? Oh, is there a sticker on top? Yeah. Hi, friends. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna go wipe carefully. I'm gonna show friends something, mommy. 
Hello Kitty. Bye guys. Hi. Hi friends. Hi. Mommy's probably gonna cut this out. So why? No, because it's a long pause. Okay, I think the last time we like sat or actually vlog vlog was Halloween, right? Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. And then afterwards the girls had girls and me had dental appointments. Um, all was good, but London has, um, this tooth that is growing in the back. Yeah, right there. So it's a double tooth. Right. And guess what? I think just a couple days ago, it went loose, like the, the baby tooth that was in front. Because we are planning, because when we went to the dentist, it wasn't loose. And he said she might have to have, like, surgery, take it out. But it's getting loose, so she might not end up needing to. Right. So that way her tooth in the back will push forward hopefully and then be straight again. So fingers crossed. For the fun soccer ball. Fun soccer ball. Okay. Did you guys take out the lights? No. How no. okay. come? Sticker. Friends. Then you peel it. Girl. Friends. Look, a fun soccer ball. Here. I started it, you peel it. Can you do it, Karis? Right here. Ah. Oh no. Oh that's because you took off the thing. This way. Oh. There. Yo. There, friends, look, a fun soccer ball. Oh, fun soccer ball. There you go. And then afterwards, oh. guess what? We tag teamed around the family. Everybody got sick. And yeah, now until present day, we are slowly getting better. We're pretty much better uh -oh. now. But that's why oh. we haven't been vlogging because I've been, been sick. And that okay. <clears throat> sickness was pretty bad. I had like congestion and coughs for like so long well. yeah, it feels like forever it started oh. with me okay. yeah and then london and then daddy and then mommy and then i got it again yep okay, and now we're here we're all good now hopefully you guys are staying healthy too but right now i put these lights on uh my bed this one we got like years ago from walmart they're warm white eight function euro style lights it has uh eight lighting functions which is we'll show you in a bit all right girl showing daniel okay let's put in the battery okay okay twist so silly you want to put the battery in london yeah okay friends are seeing your butt right now come over here okay careful Okay, okay, remember what I told you? Yeah. So the flat side with the spring. This. Yep. And then push it in. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Bath. What? 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 Oh, what? What's a bath? Is it mine? I told you flat side yeah. with the spring. No, London. Make sure you look at the the battery. The flat side has to go with the spring. If it has this little nub, that means it's wrong. If you go to the spring. Turn. No, no, no. Yes. There. Yes. No, no, no. See flat? Yeah. Goes with the spring. Push in. Uh -huh. Yeah. Push. Uh -huh. Do this. Push. Okay. Uh, like this. No, don't do that way first. You might damage the spring. So flat side. Push down on the spring. Good. <laughs> we ain't so far. Uh -uh. Okay, push. All right. Now show friends. Want to click the button? Okay, yeah. Push. Can I show them the different button? Yeah. Awesome. But you gotta hold it up so you see it. They're flickering. Huh? Yeah, there's eight styles. Huh? Push uh, the button. Flashing eight. Oh, Push them. Uh, huh? Dim. Wait, how come yours is not working? Uh oh. Ooh, flashing. Uh -huh. And uh. There we go. Oh wow. So pretty, right? Can I yeah. Go show friends something. What do you want to show? But the eight styles is, it says combination in wave, sequential, slow glow, chasing flash, low fade, twinkle flash, and steady on. Go so cute. this would be a, a combination? I don't know. Uh, this would be beep, a combination. Beep, uh, beep, 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 be
sequential. Sequential? Sequential. Yeah. Now you go hold that side. Ew. Yes. Bounce you out. Uh, just leave it in the box because we oh. that's how we pack it away. Mm. Tangle this. Pachaki! Okay, let excuse me, I gotta see how long we're gonna do this. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> why is my bed so bouncy? So if you guys watched our Edmonton vlogs, we went to Joey's and they had this chicken, or I ate the chicken parmesan. Actually, I don't even know if I vlogged that night. But anyway, mm -hmm. I, did I? Mm -hmm. I ate the chicken parmesan spaghetti from Joey's. So good. So we tried to recreate it at home. The only thing we're missing is fresh basil, which we didn't have. But thanks to Costco, everything pretty much came from Costco. We got the, you know, Rouse marinara sauce the chicken parmesan from their freezer section and of course parmesan cheese but the kids and alan said it was really good so i'll let me do a little tasty testy and see that meal was so good joey's chicken parmesan spaghetti delicious let's try you like my the burst of juice from the tomatoes mm -hmm. that's what i like with the spaghetti too so alan put some a little bit of olive oil and some salt on these tomatoes he also cooked a little bit of the tomatoes with the rouse marinara as well mm. Mm -hmm. with the spaghetti so juicy mm. i'm gonna have a knife it's okay <laughs> Use the kids' scissors. But at Joey's, they put the their chicken at the bottom of their spaghetti. But at least we wouldn't put it on the side. The chicken tastes crispy. 
tastes way better with some sriracha on it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good meal. Good morning. I am on my way to pick up my parents. I'm gonna bring them out to this kind of newish bun me shop that opened for breakfast. Um, I really want them to try their, apparently this, the bun me shop, is just, it's very well known in Vancouver. It's called Ballet, but they opened a new location. Um, but this location has coffee as well um, from Hanoi Drip, I believe. And I've always wanted to try their egg coffee. It looks so good. Always fun trying new things with my parents. Um, it's fun to see their reactions as well. I remember drinking egg coffee. I think I drank that when I was in Vietnam like years, years ago. Um, and it was really yummy. So I'm excited. They, all, they also have other flavors like ube, pandan and stuff like that. But yeah, I wonder what my parents are gonna choose. Um, yeah, I haven't seen them in a while, so it'll be nice to hang out with them today, catch up. Thấy ngon à? Như bà ăn đi. Tự chung <cười> Ngọt á Really? Let's see okay. Egg coffee Try <cười> Không ngon không? I got um, special Let's see if I can show you No Testing out this new phone stand that I bought off of, I think it was AliExpress or Tamu when they had their 1111 sale. It's very sturdy. So far, I'm really liking it. I bought it mainly because when I'm like cooking or something or showing you guys like what I'm doing on the kitchen island, um, I want it to like bend over so you guys can see like a top view of what I'm doing. But yeah, so far so good. I still got to play around with it. It's pretty new. Um, but the base is very sturdy and everything. But anyway, I just got home. It was nice catching up with my parents. It was the first time they saw our new car and they loved it. They said it's nice and spacious and smooth ride. So I'm happy that they liked it. Um, I still got some coffee left and I didn't end up finishing my Vietnamese sub. This is how much I have left. Ooh, crumbs galore. Um, but yeah, um, Okay, egg coffee. I was actually a little bit disappointed. Not that I'm disappointed in their coffee. Their coffee is nice and smooth and strong like Vietnamese coffees are, but the egg, it's not as, as full eggy flavor as I was hoping it to be. Cause well, the coffee definitely overpowers it anyways. But even if I took my straw up and like taste the egg part only, it's just a very light egg flavor. I was hoping it'd be like, you know, eggy, creamy, like the yolky flavor, but it's not that at all. So if you guys like a light egg flavor, you definitely like this coffee, but their coffee is really good. Nice, strong and smooth, really good. If I try it again, I probably either just get the regular cafe soda, which is like the regular um, iced coffee or try like maybe their Pandan or Ube sounds pretty good too, but really good. Their bun mi is really good there. They have a few locations in Vancouver. I find that location that we went to was really good. And the one on Broadway and Fraser Street, that location is really good as well. But yeah, I'm gonna finish my bun mi and then clean up from the morning from the girls mess. <laughs> Oh good. They packed it full of pickled veggies, which I love the crunch. Mm. So Black Friday is coming up. What are you guys buying or not buying? Are you guys Christmas shopping or holiday shopping for your friends and family? Um, for us, like pretty much maybe two main things or one main thing we need to buy, as you guys know, we need to buy a new stove range. 
Um, so all and I have been looking around and we narrowed it down to, for sure we're gonna get LG. Our range right now is a Samsung and it's not as reliable as LG, people would say. Our fridge is LG, so we're gonna end up going with an LG. We're deciding between like an electric one or an induction one right now. Um, but yeah, we haven't made the final decision on which one we're going to get for Black Friday yet. Hopefully it goes on sale, fingers crossed. Because as you guys know, the left burner is completely donezo. Every time I turn on the switch, if I put it to like low, the burner goes high and it'll stay high forever. And I smell like a plastic thing burning as well. So I think it's done. I mean, we have, because you guys believe it or not, lived in this place for... 10 years, so I don't know. I guess nowadays, like appliances and stuff is not made like back then. It just breaks down within like, you know, the, the lady at Home Depot told us, 10 years sounds about right for your appliances to like, you know, go kaplooped. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's one thing we need to get. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, or I don't think I vlogged it, but our bed in our room, um, when we bought it, I believe, the, pers the people there said it was leather, but turns out, I don't think it's actually leather. It's like peeling all over the place. Alan bought this little, um, um, this little kind of like a little st leather sticker. So he just stuck it on the bed. It looks horrible right now, but it actually prevents all those little flakes from coming off onto our bed. You know, like when leather cracks and all the little leather falls everywhere. So we're gonna see if we can find a bed as well. I'm not sure if we're gonna find one in time for Black Friday but it's hard to find a bed that we like. I do like the higher headrest. Um, I do want it to be a cream beige color as well. I do like that like warmth feeling color. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it that we're gonna get for Black Friday and maybe like some clothes for the girl. Good thing it's like 12 o'clock. Hopefully this won't keep me up at night. I am drinking it pretty early in the day because Enemy's coffee is strong. for dear life. I got this one from Ikea. It's like probably, yeah, it's probably been 10 years ago too. And as you guys can see, right here, it's barely holding on. So every time I'm carrying the laundry upstairs, I literally have to carry it from this angle. If I carry it by the handles, this is gonna be a goner, but it's still working. So, I'm just gonna use it until it breaks. Just have to be careful not to hold it by the handles. I hold it like this and all is good. But yeah, everything's breaking down. Towels are my favorite thing to fold because literally no brainer and it just goes by so quickly. Over there to my right on the other hand is a whole different story. You know microfiber cloth, when you hold it, you feel like your hands are so dry because it literally catches onto like the dry spots of your hands and it's so staticky. It feels so funny. It's like such a weird, gross feeling. I, I don't like folding microfiber cloths. <laughs> We're at Lafarge Lake, looking at the lights. Wee. Say hi. Hi, Lafarge. Hi. It's not raining and it's not snowing and the temperature is just right. And there's not nobody here. Yeah, because it's Only dinner time. It's bit. early. Not very clear on the camera though. Oh, there it is. 